So one of the things I noticed on the uh, first flight of my uh, new quadcopter was that it was constantly coming back at me and in stabilized mode. So of course wind is going to push it around, but in general it shouldn't, uh, you know, consistently go in one direction or the other. It should stay, you know, mostly level. So um, what, what this means is that there's uh, that it's probably not completely trimmed properly. So the center of gravity is not exactly in the middle. So the way to fix that is to use the auto trim function. Um, and what I have done is I have gone into the mission planner, the RG Copter config page. I've set up channel 7 switch so that it activates the, the auto trim feature. Right now I have my APM2 which is connected to my computer of course uh, and I'm going to set my channel 7 option to the save trim. So I'm going to just write that. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flight in stabilize mode. I'm going to use my roll and pitch trims on my uh, receipt transmitter. Um, get it flying level, doing that. Then I'm going to land, disarm, and click the switch. And that will uh, save the trim dies to the EPROM. So first of all, it's not armed, so we arm it. There we go. I'm in a pretty much windless environment, which is very important. And not okay. So I'm it seems to be drifting off to the right. So I'm going to. I've given a little bit of left yaw. So it seems to be drifting off to the right a bit. Try that again. There we are. Now it's not really going in any specific direction. Maybe a little bit too much to the left. That's right on there. It seems to be about right. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I'll now land it. I will then disarm it. Two seconds. I'm going to hit the switch. That will save the trim. Put it back. I move my trims back into the middle. Okay. I'm just going to try another flight. Try another flight just to confirm that uh, that it is indeed more trimmed now. More properly trimmed. That was pretty good to me. Drifting a little bit to the right. But it's still pretty good. Pretty, pretty okay with that. Land it. Okay, so there is actually another way to, uh, to use the auto trim feature. So instead of using channel 7, uh, what you can do is um, instead land your copter, of course, hold the throttle down, then hold the uh, yaw completely to the right uh, for about 20 seconds or so. At that point, you'll see the little uh, red, blue, and yellow lights on the back of the APM 2.5 or whatever start start flashing in a little uh, you know, circular pattern. Um, and at that point, you have about 25 seconds. Uh, in which you should fly the copter and try and keep it as level as possible. During that time, it's going to record the average roll and pitch, and it'll use that as your new as your new trim. So, let's try and do that. So, get a little closer. I'm going to arm it, and then just keep the yaw over to the right. There it is. Now it started doing the slightly unusual pattern. So I've got 25 seconds to fly it and try and keep it as level as possible.
you do this in a windless environment, of course. I expect that's long enough. There you go, for 25 seconds. And now I'm just going to disarm. There we are. So that should have uh, that should have saved the neutron values. I am now going to give it a next flight, another another flight, just to make sure that it's still flying nice and level. So if I let go of the stick, you know it's not flying in any particular direction. Yeah. Wind pushes it around a little bit, but not much. Yeah. Move off the right a little bit. But it's pretty good. That's pretty good for stabilized mode. Okay. Thank you very much.